God Monster of Indian Flats, 1973, written and directed by Frederick Hobbs, starring Christopher Brooks, Stuart Lancaster, and E. Kerrigan Prescott. A small western town conspires to stop a businessman from buying their property, even though they can easily just say no to him. While this is going on, gases seeping up from the ground cause sheep on a ranch to birth a mutant creature that eventually becomes large and violent. I had a very difficult time figuring out how to review this film, because it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. Hobbs, the writer, director, producer, creature designer, was an environmentally conscious artist, so I was expecting an ecological horror cautionary tale, as had become popular in the 70s. I was wrong. Very wrong. Once it became clear that the mutant creature wasn't the focus of the film, I continued watching, and I ran into a big problem. There's no real character to root for, the businessman isn't particularly sleazy, so the antagonistic response he gets from the small town doesn't feel particularly deserved or necessary, and the small town isn't that wicked or evil. The schemes the townspeople conceive to get the businessman out of town are downright bizarre, and not even to a comedic or horrifying degree. The pacing and lack of focus of the film make it difficult to sit through. With no clear understanding of the film's intention, it just plods along as confused as the mutant sheep in it does. The scenes with the monster don't really scratch the itch of a horror fan enough to reward them for sticking it out with this bizarre film. 70s films have a very surreal and weird quality sometimes, and this film is no exception. All the performances are very unnatural and peculiar in an uncomfortable way, which is further enhanced by the film's occasionally dissonant score. It honestly doesn't provide much of a satisfactory climax either. Everything erupts into chaos in the end, and anything the film might have been trying to convey was entirely lost on me. This film didn't elicit any strong reaction out of me. I didn't hate it, but I couldn't really find much to like about it either. This makes reviewing this film very difficult and frustrating for me to talk about. The film never got a theatrical release either. It was released on DVD by Something Weird Video in 2001. Verdict, thumbs down. I honestly can't recommend this film because I still have no idea what I just saw or what they were trying to accomplish. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.